Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a 27 week pregnancy update and giving you a little bit of the symptoms that I've started feeling and some things that have helped me during this week of my pregnancy. At 27 weeks, the baby is the size of a cauliflower and is 14 and a half inches long from head to toe. It's amazing because the baby can now open and close her eyes and also even suck her thumb so she's really quite active in the belly. I do feel her move around quite frequently. In my previous videos I talked about a little I talked a little bit about the posterior pelvic pain that I was feeling uh, and it's been about three weeks now that it was very very severe. If any mothers or if anyone out there has ever had that kind of pain leave a comment below let us know what has helped you. I took a three week break from the gym and basically what happens is your pelvis expands in order to allow the baby to be able to go through the birth canal for the birth and so that expansion of the pelvis causes a lot of pain and sometimes it can press against a nerve and I, that's what was happening to me and I literally could not walk anywhere. I couldn't even go for a walk around the block. Over the last two weeks, um, going up the stairs was a bit of a struggle and even sleeping at night, just doing a basic roll or turn was very painful. It's feeling a lot better now. It's not perfect, but I'm just continuing to just go a little bit slower and just not aggravate it or put too much pressure in that area. So posterior pelvic pain is a common symptom and I can do a separate video explaining exactly what it is and. Um, and what are some things that you can do to help. A second thing that I noticed in the 27 week was more uh, more bleeding of the gums. When I'm brushing my teeth in the morning or at night, I see a lot of blood, which is something very unusual for me. Um, but again, that is a common symptom. So if you do start seeing that, it's normal. Uh, but that was something I had to get used to because it goes away after a few minutes, but it was just, you can tell the, it's. It's a lot more excessive. Something else that I'm really noticing is that my veins, my veins and my arms and my legs and even my chest, I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot more veins that are popping, not popping, but there's a lot more veins that are showing um, a lot more. And that's because the blood volume in your body doubles when you're pregnant. So there's a bit more pressure on the veins. That's why they say it's really important to put your legs up you know, at the end of the day, which I've been doing every day, and trying not to put too much pressure on the body um, that can raise blood pressure or tighten the veins. So that's one thing I do. And when, when you know, when I put my arms like this, the veins go away. But when they're down, I can really see them. So hopefully that will go away once the baby's born. Another thing that I've started noticing in the 27 week is I naturally am waddling a little bit so I have a bit of a duck walk when I'm walking um, which I had never thought I would have and I try consciously not to walk like that I try to walk normally part of it is because I feel a little bit of pain in that lower back it's it, the pain that I get is not directly in the lower back it's like the lower bum cheek so I wanted to talk about um, a few things that have really helped me during the last week or two since my belly has been growing my stomach has really been expanding now and I feel it very firm before there was a bit of softness to it and now it's very firm and the belly button is even starting to come out just a little bit I'm not seeing that vertical line that some women see when their belly expands. Maybe it'll come later, maybe I won't have it at all. But it's, so far it just looks like a big, um, big round belly, which I'll show you in a second. My mom was visiting about a week ago and she brought a few things that she thought would help me during the pregnancy. And one thing that has been a lifesaver, especially at night, because I feel like I need my sleep. If I don't get my sleep, my days are pretty tough <laughs> the next day. So one thing she bought me was a pregnancy pillow. And this is what it looks like. It's basically a foam triangular wedge. And you lie on your side and you tuck this under your stomach. So 
Now I'm feeling like I need the support to support the stomach when I lie on my side, when I sleep on my side. And this is a really great pillow that helps you support the belly. And I thought it would I thought I wouldn't need it, but it makes a world of a difference because sometimes a regular pillow is a bit too bulky. And then the body pillow is so long and big, you can't really travel with that or carry it anywhere. This is so light and it's so easy to pack if you do have to go anywhere. And it doesn't take up a lot of room on your bed. And it's really, really comfortable. So I really recommend this pregnancy pillow. And I'll leave a link in the comments below where you can purchase it as well. Something else that has really helped me just to be a little more comfortable in bed is putting a regular pillow between my legs. So I always sleep on my side and I've always been like that. I never, I'm not a back sleeper or I don't sleep on my stomach. So, and they, they say that is, it is better during pregnancy to sleep on your sides. Some people say it's okay to sleep on your back as well. Some of the concerns are that the baby is, if you're on your back, then everything is pressing on your nerve. Um, in the center of your of your body and that it causes a bit too much pressure so sleeping on the left side is better honestly just sleep however you feel most comfortable that's my biggest thing on on sleep but the pillow in between the on between the legs where the knees are is an amazing way to just feel nice and comfortable something else I've been doing is really I've been really enjoying essential oils I have to buy a new diffuser because mine broke, uh, but the essential oil scent, sometimes I'll just take the bottle and I'll put a little bit, a drop, just on my on my neck or under my nose, just to smell the, the scented oils and kind of it helps me to breathe and just let my body go. Because if any of you have been pregnant or if you've gone through pregnancy, as you know, it's very easy to be a little more tense throughout the day just because you're carrying a lot more weight and your body is going through all these changes. So I'm going to show you what my 27 week pregnancy bump looks like and you may not see the difference from the last week but I definitely am feeling the expansion. I'm actually wearing maternity pants and these are great. I found these at a secondhand store. They were $10. This is what the 27 week pregnancy bump looks like. And it's really, really getting hard and really now pushing out. Here's the front. I don't know if you can see it that well because of the pattern of my shirt. I move this way a bit more. It's crazy how I'm already at the end of my second trimester and next week in week 28, I'll be going into the beginning of my third trimester. During this stage, I'm just really enjoying the pregnancy. I'm really just taking things lightly, not taking things too seriously, and just really doing the best that I can to keep my energy up and sleep, 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 and making sure to sleep. That is it for my 27 week pregnancy update. If you have any questions or if you have gone through your pregnancy journey, what are th some things that have helped you during your 27 week? If you've tried the pillow out, I'd love to hear some more feedback on other things that have helped you to be comfortable and relaxed during this week. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!